late. What, what do I have? Okay, I guess I should pick that up because it's something. A gunning, you have a gunny McGunnington. Welcome back, everybody, to some Uncharted 2 where there's some more, like, slightly out of date weapons. Um, somebody was telling me this is a Luger, which is a slightly oh. older style gun. Gotta get the hell out of here. Well, I mean, they are. I don't know. I don't know. Mercenaries, maybe cheaper guns, because. That, that could be it. They're cheaper? Because it's not like these are. Well, no, he said Nazis before, right? These are, like. Like, it all comes back to Nazis hey, again. There's a switch. I don't know if there are Nazis in this game yet, though. Well, he did call... Um, so previously... Lazarvik? Yeah, no, not Lazarvik. Um, th that guy we met in the mountains. Uh, that oh, guy who was him. really friendly at first. The, the, the what's-his-name guy? The Hindu... The... <sighs> I'm already forgetting his name. The, the one he white guy in... Oh, no. Yeah, no, Ten Tenzin is here. Tenzin's a cool guy. Yeah. But the, the one oh, white guy uh, in the Tibetan... No. no, no, not Flynn. Oh, he, the old guy. Yeah, uh, it was like Chaucer or something like that. Yeah, Ch yeah, him. Chan Chan <laughs> something like that. Chandler, yeah, Chandler for Chaucer. friends. <laughs> he said there was a switch probably over there. I'm not looking close enough. So. Uh, is that switch of the Nintendo or the Cisco variant? This is looking like a Neither. big old. <laughs> Just put in that sound effect they use for all the uh, advertisements. There he is. Oh, wow. oh no, two Chewbacca's. Oh man. Oh, you took the finger off! Oh, he's giving us the finger. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, okay, we are in control, I guess. Mm -hmm. I no. guess let's use better gun. They're like keeping their distance now, though. I wonder. I wonder what. Boulders? Oh, crap! <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, oh, these are these are rascally little Ewoks. Oh, they're gonna keep doing that for a while, I think, until they run out. Um, oh, are there more behind me too? What hit me? A boulder. I know, but I'm not like seeing the boulders even. Okay, so that's just their like opening gambit. I like that. Too. <laughs> this this is just what I needed. I needed. Two of these. Well, they're not both charging your lenses. Yeah, yeah. One of them tends to focus tens, I guess. There's this thing. You, I forget what it's called, but there's this thing in game. You know, like games like, like The Witcher and like Assassin's Creed, where you end up a lot of times you'll get mobbed. Yeah. But realistically, like most of them are like. Just, uh, he's got me pinned. Oh, most of them are like. Just sort of like dancing around you, and there's only yeah. one or two that are actively there's engaging an, you. There's an AI that kind of tells them not to all attack at once. That's one of the things that makes Dark Souls so hard, is that enemies don't have that behavior. Any, any enemy in Dark Souls will take the chance to attack you. Maybe I'll try it again when it comes out of the Switch. I mean, fr from what I hear, I've never tried it myself, but from what I hear, it's supposed to be pretty rewarding. The problem I have with it is it's, it's slow. If it was fast, yeah. I feel like I would really like it a lot. Because, like, I like games like Cuphead and, like, games like Celeste where it's, like... <laughs> you get to keep trying again right away. And it's fast, but the problem is, at least from my understanding and my experience with Dark Souls, is that, um... I'm sorry. This might be the end of Tenzin. Okay, you shot the switch. Okay, no, that made the switch swatch. Um, Swatched it. The problem I have with it is that. Well, because oh, it's. Nope, a... there he goes. Okay, guys. Guard! Vote now in the comments. Does Tenzin Guard! live or die? Yay, 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 yay. Hashtag Tenzin lives, hashtag Tenzin dies. Oh, that was a really thin floor. I mean, it is old. The Architects had a flair for the dramatic here. Um, the problem I have with Dark Souls is that, like, it's their long fight, so you mess up, like, once or twice in the whole fight, and you have to re redo, like, ten minutes. And it's, like, the same motions over and over again. Yeah. So, like, in a game like Hollow Knight or, like, oh, no. 
Meat Boy or something, it's like you have to redo them, but like it, it's not that much. It's yeah. just like a few burst seconds of intense. Whereas in Dark Souls, it's like a lot of intense for a long time, and if you make a small mistake, you have to redo it over and over again. And it's like. I guess the counter argument to that though is that it makes sure that once you've beaten it, it's because you're good at it, not because you got lucky once. You know? Yeah. Schaefer, that's his name. They went the other way. Nate. I still think of a game like Hollow Knight with the boss is like you need to get good at them or else you just take care of them. Yeah, and like Celeste, you have to be good. You're not gonna accidentally clear a board well, some, of Celeste. Some stuff you'll just have well, some stuff with Celeste it's a little more because like you do you only have to do each thing once. Yeah. Whereas with a boss fight like that, you usually have to do multiple things more crossbow. Okay. You usually have to do multiple things, like you have to do it more than one time. It's like there's different moves you have to watch out for. That's sort of how I see it. Let me see how this thing works. Okay, so... Schaefer has... I guess finally decided to declare war on this villain. I don't know what the inciting incident of that is. Now, d d is Schaefer involved with Lazarevic? Or are they just two separate enemy entities? I think so. Um... Because I get the impression that Schaefer has been here for a really long time trying to get that treasure. The Chintamani stone? Yeah. I love that name, by the way. The Chintamani. There we go. It I gives die, you. Die, 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 it gives die, you a magnificent die. chin. And then, is it crimson? Yeah. You can, like, break rocks with it. I was trying to think of a celebrity that has like a really good chin, but I can't really think. I, I don't. I don't know celebrity faces well enough. Celebrity chins. Apparently, that's a thing. Like a guy, a man's handsome if he has a strong chin. I've never been attracted to chins. I guess I don't know. I've never. You've also never been attracted to men. Yeah, I've never noticed chin game. This is gonna be a problem. This guy is a problem. Yeah. I just shot I just shot him in the balls. God. He Can deserves that much there. That must hurt. Marginally more than getting shot anywhere else. I feel like I'd rather get shot in the head and just die. Oh yeah, I would I would pick the death with the least registration of pain. No, I would probably rather just die over living with that. Like over getting oh, shot in the balls and compared just living. to <laughs> shot to the balls, but you come home. But alive. you still come home alive, yeah. Not not even because like oh like I wouldn't be able to survive up. No, not because I feel like I wouldn't want to experience that amount of pain. Ever. No, yeah, that's not even just like reproductive. Like you're going to be injured for the rest of your life. It's just going to be inconvenient to do anything. Yep. So you're picking guns over crossbows, huh? There there isn't that many. Uh, you don't get that many shots with it. What, what's the trade-off for a crossbow? Do they have really good range? I think it's a one hit, but I think they have like arc. They arc or something. They look. They have trajectory and they move slow. I, I noticed that already. I don't see why a crossbow should be any more lethal than. Are you kidding me? Crossbows are super like. Uh, yeah, but compared to bullets, like, is it really? That I would much of rather. A I would rather be shot with a bullet than shot with a crossbow bolt. Well, I get that That's it would be inconvenient, thing. but as far as instantly killing enemies. Well, the problem, not instantly killing, the problem with crossbows is that they like cripple you, and they're like, they're not really humane in a sense. Like, oh even, yeah. Even like war, like crossbow, like getting hit with a crossbow is just like awful. They wouldn't pass the Geneva Convention. No. Yeah. They were banned for a while, weren't they? Like, I think so. To my knowledge, crossbows were banned because they were like basically deemed to be like unholy weapons because they were so just brutal. Well, I know, I know we can't, like, you can't use pellets anymore in war, like the bullets that are perfectly round. Yeah. Because they're the inhumane. Points. They just, they, yeah, they just, the beads, if you get hit by one of them and survive, they're just, they're very hard to extract and they're just like, in you, messing up your me messing up your bodily systems as opposed to, you know, a pointed bullet that's aerodynamic and designed to hit you and keep going. Also, just saying this now, but crossbows are guns and anyone who says otherwise is reborn. Oh yeah, totally. They're crossbows are not bows, they are guns. They're actually. arrow guns. Yeah. They're, because they have a trigger and you know, you can load them and they fire much faster. 
I meant not faster. Like the, the the speed at which the at which the projectile goes is much faster than anything you're really gonna shoot out of with a bow. What about uh bowcasters? What a, it's that? Uh... That's the thing that Chewbacca has in Star Wars, where it's like a crossbow, but it shoots lasers like everything else. That's weird. That's not. That doesn't count because that's not real. <laughs> I always wondered what the point of it was that it was shaped like a crossbow. To look cool. Yeah, pretty much. And like Chewie has that like ammunition thing over his shoulder, but you never see him reloading. I mean, do you ever see Legolas reload? Then again, he supposedly can reload. I, I never see him collect more arrows. I also I I, I have problems with Legolas. Nothing wrong with the character. I. I don't like him in the movies. You don't like Orlando Bloom and I, Onion? Orlando Bloom can't act. <laughs> Orlando Bloom's not an actor. He doesn't act. He just sits there and does the same exact expression the whole time. My problem with... Yeah, but, he's... And, like, you can argue that, oh, he's an elf. Elf's supposed to be emotionless. But he does the same thing in Pirates of the Caribbean. So, like... <laughs> the funny thing, if you read the original novels, Legolas in the books... One is, even though he's around a lot, he's a much less important character. Like, he's there all the time, but he's not... Legolas in the books is not cool. He kind of sings and prances all the time. I don't think he's cool in the movies. Yeah, but, you know, they're trying to make him a badass. Like, he, uh, yeah. you know, he gets, like, quadra kills every time El he shoots an elves arrow. Elves are not badasses. Elves are, like... Oh, elves are pretty cool. Elves are... They're, are, they're not badasses, though. They're very dainty and elegant. That's not really a badass. Yeah, that's the thing. They're they're glass cannons. The thing is, they can't take a hit, so they try to dodge everything. This is bad. This is really bad. But yeah, that's much more how it is in the books than like elves. No, 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 no. Fuck! Oh, I was so close. You were doing really well. But it's just funny that like Legolas is really effeminate, and then they changed him into this like heartthrob character. He's still really effeminate in the movies, though. Well, I mean, he's not because he doesn't really have emotion, but he's, he's got yeah, he's got like the long blonde hair, but I don't know. There's a lot of ladies. Elves, who elves like are always kind of actually. You know what's interesting? You see in the most recent uh, one whoa, of the most whoa. recent books for D and D five E, they added in the ability for elves to change gender each day. Oh. That's an interesting Which trick. is like, I'm I'm not, I'm like not the kind of, like, I'm I'm all for like equality, but I'm also not the kind of person who thinks that you should just throw something in like that just for the sake of it, um, of like coverage. I feel like it should fit in, but like they did it, so that way it does, like, well. Yeah. Because elves have always been androgynous, and like, yeah, and that's, that's true. sort of like their thing, kind of. I feel like, at least yeah. I feel like that, and I feel like it's like really act oh. like a really good way to do increased portrayal um, without sort of shoehorning it in because I, I still think when something's shoehorned in, it's not I mean, I guess good, like, regardless of yeah. whether it's good intent or not, I just feel like it's like Yeah, that's interesting There's this thing now known as the Legolas effect, where like, it especially happens in either adaptations of movies or in sequels to movies where one character, like, ceases to have a character because they get rid of all their flaws and just have them be awesome at everything. You mean a Mary Sue? Yeah. Yeah, but the Legolas effect is so kind like of the, the... hedgehog? Is like the... In this case, it's the gradual becoming more and more of a Mary Sue because Legolas in, in Fellowship of the Rings is just like... If you look in the action scenes in that, he's just like a really good shot. And it's like, okay, this guy's like really good with a bow, but he's not ridiculous. And, you know, critics and fans and stuff really love that for this. So for the sequel, they ramp it up. And he, and that's when he's, like, sliding a shield down the staircase and killing like, 12 when, when he goes up, he goes down. When, he, when him and Gimli are doing the contest thing in the third movie and, like, he takes down the whole elephant, the big thing. Yeah. And all the Mon Gimli say, oh, I don't like how this was won. Yeah. And, like... Gimli's cooler than Legolas. Though. So once you hit with the... And Gimli also has one called the Gimli effect, where Gimli was a badass in the first movie, but was also kind of funny, and people liked that. So as they go on, they make Gimli, like, have more and more stupid bumbling moments, where, like, by the third movie, he's getting, like, winded when he runs behind all of them. Oh, yeah. And he's, like, just talking about food all the time. Because he's, like, because he's the fat kid. Yeah. Hermione and, Walt and Ron are a, li a lot like that in the Harry Potter movies, too. They, like... No! 
<laughs> they were like so happy to have a strong female character in Hermione that they just yeah, like, I feel like that's not tried a to make her perfect. Thing? No, no. My problem is because it is good, and I'm glad that like. Well, she's still very stubborn, and that's sort of like one of her big flaws. Yeah, it's just in the book she like was a three dimensional character, and oh, I didn't watch all the movies. In the movies, they make Hermione increasingly solving everything, and Ron is useless. Yeah, and I'm not saying like, oh man, they like made the guy dumber, this isn't fair, this is sexist. I'm not saying uh, that, but, like... that's... I mean, even if they did, like, it's not really even sexist. No, like, that's... I'm, I'm not trying to be a meninist. I'm just saying yeah. I think the character of Hermione is a bit... Like, I'm glad she's awesome. They just made her... It was a disservice to the character to write out some of her flaws. Mm. Like, a big book thing about Hermione was Hermione... Like, Hermione was not good with reflexes when... When, when things, when, like, the shit was hitting the fan, she would often even forget that she could cast spells. Like, she could not think under pressure most oh, of the Oh, God! Time. Why? Why? I didn't see them! Come on, circle! Oh, I couldn't dodge yeah, roll was... out. I hate, I hate how, like, I couldn't punch no, the you dodge can't, roll. Yeah, and you I'm can't I'm get playing, out of... I'm, I'm, like, trying to play Witcher 3 here, because that's what I've been playing... <laughs> And like I'm like trying to like you know you know a fast attack and then dodge roll away. I haven't played The Witcher. I feel like you would really like it. I bet I would. It's probably one of the most story. It probably has the most developed story out of like any game I played. I have the first two on Steam. I would say honestly skip them and just play three. When I miss story stuff doing that. Yeah, but like ish like you you do but like you don't need them like i don't know because i feel like i didn't play one and two and like you can you still get a lot out of the story there's like a few things that they reference that you don't really know what they were but they sort of do a good job of like there making them like they're not mission critical to the plot they sort of are just like oh hey this happened or like oh okay. i know this character and like you don't really need to know the character's bad backstory to like understand their point their purpose in the current plot do they do anything to, like, remind you of that stuff? Um... Like, do they recap you at all? There's, there's like, a, there's a begin, there's one part at the beginning where if you don't have a save, you basically can, um... You basically have the option to, like, choose what happens. Like, you have, like, a couple wow. dialogue choices, and you can say what happened, and those, like, depend, like, those will, like, basically change. Because, like, the whole game's about choices, and it's, like, Mass Effect in the, in the sense that your, your save file carries over. Okay. But you can sort of simulate the save. Um, simulate the save. Yeah, like I said, there's a part where someone's asking you a bunch of questions, and you have choices okay. to answer, and based on those choices, that's what happened. Okay. So, like, they're choices you could have made in the previous games, but you're making them now as a dialogue. That's pretty neat. Um... I don't know, and I feel like this, it's interesting because like the the general the the main story is very like overarching, and like you're basic like like basically for the first thirty hours you're like trying to find someone, but like it's not that's like not what's like this that's like not the high point of the story. The high point of the story is all the like small like side quests and like all the smaller characters you meet. Yeah. Um, and like the monsters and everything that are some of them are pretty crazy. How many more guys do you have? There's a lot. I'm pretty sure there are countries with smaller populations than yeah. Lazarvik's payroll. But yeah, if you get the chance to play it, it's a long game, but like... It's like a Game of Thrones kind of like, like aesthetic to I it. I do love Game of Thrones. It's like... I couldn't get into Game of Thrones just because, like, I don't have the attention span to sit through a one-hour um, episode of it. I don't know, like, I watched a couple and I just couldn't get into it. But The Witcher 3 gives me very similar, like, vibes. Like, it, may, it reminds me of Game of Thrones a lot, but I'm able to, like, you know, get behind it, I guess. Oh, I thought that would work. Okay. That worked. Oh, wow. There you go. That's, like, the big oh, problem. That's sorry, the hardest cousin. thing. I, I killed another guy who was on that gun before, and they... Oh, they keep getting back on it. Yeah. I guess I need to keep the offensive going. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of people die in here, so I can take all these guns. Mm -hmm. All right. Am I surrounded? No. Let's do it. Alright. 
We were actually thinking of let's of like let's playing that, weren't we? As a possible option. Yeah, that was an idea before we decided to do Uncharted. I just feel like it's it would have been too. It's like very long. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be prepared before you sign up for a game like that. Yeah, and very story based. I mean, I do. I do have a really good attention span, I think, so yeah. I don't think it would bother me how long the game is. Yeah. I mean, for me playing it myself, I don't know about oh, let's play. Okay, I think one of my men is I feel on like, the I feel like for Let's Play, now. it might not... It wasn't great, because, like, I know there, there's a lot of cuts in it, a lot of, like, story, yeah. like, a lot of dialogue. Yeah, maybe so. Okay, are we done here? Hopefully. Ah, uh, no, there's no. more. More in the head. Okay, but we are we are making progress on them, mm -hmm. so that's good. Alright. Yes, and GD dandy. I like whenever I jump in. Oh! Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you for providing me more cover like that. But also shooting rockets for grenades at me. If you aimed just a little bit further away, you could have killed me right away. Yeah. Oh! Hi! Okay. Let's go for a little gun here. Little gun, little gun, little gun. Guy threw a grenade really horribly. They have some really bad grenade aim sometimes. And that guy has really good grenade aim. Grenade. Uh, I can't do that. I can't stuff. <laughs> Nathan all. Grenade. Oh, man. You guys in your iron hats. Was he wearing a hat under his hat? Stop! Oh, my God. Okay. I just see one guy left. I think we can run up and try and take him. Let me see your stupid face. There you go. All right, Fort Taken. That was... Oh, no. No, no, no. Ooh. I was going to say that was a that was a rumble, but it's still rumbling. It is a rumble. Rumble in the jungle. Rumble continues. Well, we're not in the jungle anymore, actually, but... <laughs> yeah, um... Pillage in the village. Oh, yeah. Blast from the past. Can I climb this? I was trying to climb another ladder before, and it was just, like, not really operating for me. Oh, hello. Okay. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't see me. It's amazing how many people Nathan can just, like, punch to death. Yeah. Well, maybe they're unconscious. You ever thought of that? Maybe the people you, you attack with your fists are unconscious and not dead. I feel like they really should not be leaving people unconscious. Is that one of mine? I think that's one of mine. Okay, that is one of mine. You can tell by their like what they're wearing. Yeah. My eyesight's getting they're worse. They're not in army vests. That's what? I'm not used to playing games that have this good of graphics. So I'm not used to having to see in this level of detail. Oh, wait till we get to Uncharted 4. Oh, <laughs> that was funny looking. That was great. Okay, if you're gonna be like that, freaking. Good. Well, my shotgun back. Clear out. Okay, wait. Let's go. Bang. Boom. Oh. Bang, bang, bang. Boom. Okay. I also can't wait for the Spyro trilogy to come out. That'd be great. That's not even really confirmed yet, is it? It is. Spyro, um, it's the treasure trilogy. Is that confirmed That's or is that just it. leaked? Um, I'm pretty sure it's confirmed. I've heard it was leaked by a reliable about... source, and then I think it was confirmed. I believe it when I see it, but yes, I'm sure well, they I, are the first actually thing that comes it. up when I search Spyro, Spyro Treasure Chill Trilogy. I didn't know if that was one of those like Pokemon Stars things where like everybody was really sure it was happening. Well, oh, no. that sucked. Oh wait, apparently it is made up. It's that sucks because the guy leaked it. Like, the last time you leaked something before... Yeah, he... ...was, like, correct. Oh! Got some distance on that. I didn't even think that was the ground there. I think I just got pancaked onto the wall. Alright, so rooftop rumble now, but... 
I mean, they really should do the Spyro Trilogy remake. It all depends on whether they can get... Well, honestly, I think they I, they might, because, like, apparently now Crash is coming across all systems. Yeah. So... Because it's coming out on Xbox One then, too. Yep. Too bad it's still it's still not an exclusive to have, to have a, for Xbox One. What the heck? Come on. I want to roll... I want to dodge roll away. I get it, you want to have, like, enemies that are good at hand-to-hand, -hand, you know, it's very cool, but this is just not the game for that. I just don't want to be in hand-to-hand -hand combat most of the time. Also, come on, really? Yeah. Like, how many bullets did that guy take? I hate the armor, guys. Because also, it would just be nice... I mean, I thought they should have done a Spyro remake earlier because Skylanders was so popular so like yeah but Skylanders isn't really like Spyro right? no but but listen there were there were little kids who liked it so much and never played the original Spyro so you could market it like hey look where Spyro came from in this you know colorful remake of the originals I don't know I just kids would have bought that I've never finished all the original Spyro I mean I played parts of them but I've never actually like fully went through and played the whole things so like I want them so I like actually oh can I actually get them. through them yeah, because nowadays they're so they're dated, so... I mean, same, honestly, um... Oh my god, where did you come from, dick hat? Get out of here. Spyro... You're in a rocket launcher, why do you just shoot a rocket <laughs> at the building, you re... Ugh. Oh. He was too close. I don't know where I want to go. Yeah, I don't know, I'm a little confused where... I guess go where the enemies are. Bang! That's kind of... No, see, they're fine. They just, like, shrug that off. You have to, like, hit them with a grenade I between know. the eyes. Where am I getting... Get out! They're just... They're coming from all directions. I can't, oh my oh. god, are you freaking kidding me? And that's why that guy didn't... And then another one came monster. up! Yeah! This is... Oh, it took me all the way back here. You jerk. It's like tower defense, except it also wants you to go somewhere, so like... Well, this part we have to just sit and wait. Which is like... I don't know, generally this game is progress-based. Yeah. But still, we've been sort of sitting here at this one point, and they've been coming up. Yeah. I don't really see where we would go down. Because they keep coming, usually waves like this don't happen. They keep happening. Why don't you just throw him off the cliff, man? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I don't think you can do that. No, you don't have that much control over. Alright, you guys coming from down there? Nope. They're everywhere. There's someone coming up the ladder. I... I thought... Yep. No. That's it's a Tenzin, no! He's going down and up the ladder. I don't feel like there's any real advantage to being on the roofs here. I just than... kind of... Everybody can see me now. There's not... Yeah, no, coming coming down here was a mistake. Okay, just throw him over your head, sure. Jesus. Oh, yeah, this is... This isn't good. This is, this is a... This is a bad sitch. This is a bad trip. Um... Okay, I do not know where Grenade Man is, but I want him to stop being there. There's too much, like, if we can figure out where to go, we can figure out where we're trying to defend from, but there's just people coming from all directions. Now, these are, trying to understand from a story standpoint, these are Lazarevix men, right? Not, yeah. And he's... Man, what does he even want? Maybe the Chintamati stone. Yeah, but like, why is he coming here? Because it can give you power. Yeah, but why is he attacking this village? Um, well, we're he thinks we're, we have information. Well, we're close to the stone. I'm, I'm assuming that's part of it. Yeah. I, I guess he's just trying to take the place as like a base camp, or maybe he knows that Schaefer was researching it. Yeah, I just don't know what to do with all these guys. Uh, oh, what if you drop in that little hole to your left? Like, if you... I don't... No, I, I don't... Because, like, that's still a building and they can still get in there. Yeah. Die. 
Well, we're getting lots of, you know, gold trinkets for whatever that's worth. I can't feel my, like, I don't feel motivated to find all of the little treasures in this game. That's nope. just, it doesn't really do much for me. Same. Oh, it's tended. It's not the same to me as, like, getting a bunch of power moons or getting a bunch of jiggies or something. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, get, get away. For a second, I didn't even think they were enemies because they just seemed so calm. Okay, so that's where the grenade is down there. No, he died fast. I think that was him? No. No, left. yeah, they're still firing. Okay. No, I think there's another one. That's the problem. Well, that ain't good. There is. Okay, Naughty Dog, we get it. Like, this is enough, guys. You have proven yourself in your abilities to fill it a level with a whole bunch of enemies. Come on! Let me out! Let me roll away! Oh, you're a dickhole. See, this is why I was saying maybe go inside, because then they wouldn't be able to sneak up on you. I, I but, think it's not going to matter. Yeah, because we like need to make some kind of forward progress. But which way is forward? I think it's gonna ha I think that's gonna show up once we kill a lot a bunch of these guys. Okay, I just I feel I, like they're thinning out. I feel like the action's getting a little less intense yeah. right now. Yeah. Like right now I feel like that's the last guy in there. He's taking a leak. <laughs> I don't know if I killed him or not. I like how the air like warps yeah. when you throw a grenade. Gotta be careful. Okay, there's the there's the hammer. Oh, there yeah. he is. Okay. I I I think he's. Oh, maybe he wasn't dead. He's dead now. You don't want to shoot him one more time for good measure? No, I'm good. Okay, still be on the lookout because sometimes when you're not around them, the the enemies just like idle. I know. Okay, I hear them again. Oh, no! The, you had a freaking clown posse in there. Maybe switch to not the grenades? No, it's fine. We're good. Uh, Tenzin's fighting somebody else over there. Where is over there? Um, I thought he was in that house. Yeah. Oh, no, he wants you to come over. Oh. Well, good thing hey! he's using grenades. Come on, man. That wasn't nice. I just tidied up in here. <laughs> oh, like the guru. that was a mess. <laughs> what? Just that whole thing. Holy shit. Oh, boy. There's the tank. Uh-oh. There it is. <laughs> well, that answers one question. <laughs> We're fine. We rolled. Tank battle. I don't want to de deal with the tank. That and moose. <laughs> ah, yes. The moose. Cat's natural enemy. Oh my god. It can blast through cover. Let's go. Let's go where? I don't know. I guess just away. Nope, that's a real fake door. I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Oh. Oh. No, it's a real, real door. It just... Tenzin was the key. Wait a sec. They're just gonna keep shooting at yeah. the wall, wasting bullets. Okay. You cannot fight the tank. You can only run. It is not Thanksgiving, not today. Eat this. It's interesting how much color there is when you haven't been shot a whole bunch of times. You mean like a normal amount of color? <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe it's because, like, he gets shot and it, like, messes with his brain and his, like, eyesight goes warped or something. I mean, I really like the system. It's a good way of showing damage without having to throw another thing on the screen. Just, just sometimes I forget how colorful this game is because I've been getting shot for so Where long. Where is this way? Where is this way? Where is this way? Um... I don't know. Oh, through there. I'm waiting for the tank to just like boom and insta kill. Oh, for me to get shot by a yeah. tank? Oh, this place, this does not look like something I want to deal with. Well, you have a lot more friends now. Yeah, that's for sure. Wow, Tenzin, you're. Yeah, well, when the tank comes here, those friends aren't going to do much. Your friends are really well armed. Well, that's the tank. These parkas are packing. I like how it actually destroys the environment. I don't, because that's my cover! <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, it's it's a nice effect. How many things are actually destructible in here that I wouldn't have expected. Oh, that's one of your guys. Yeah, that is. I don't think I want. Ooh, that probably would have hurt really, really, yeah. really, really bad. Nope. Burning bridges. Is this the hardest level oh, in the uh -oh. game? RPG, this is an action game. What's the patent for RPG? <laughs> That's what we need. Yeah. Do we have what it takes to destroy this tank? To bet your ass you do. RPG, RPG. Nope. There's gonna be like one RPG in town. In case of emergency, break glass. In case of tank. Come on. Just a little bit of wood. Man, what happened to Elena? I do not know. We saw her for a second, but... Oh, no. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 Shoot him. Al like, actually, alternate your bullets between them so they're flinching. Yeah. They well, you're right where I died, so. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 right, no, no. To your right. Right. To the right. We're fine, we're fine. No, uh, no. I hate getting locked in combat. Yeah. Alright, here we go. See, they, they travel two by two most of the time, so that if you punch one of them, you're screwed. Like that guy, I didn't even realize there were two of them at first. He just sneaks around. Oh, no. <laughs> Terrifying. Uh, yeah, I think you can go down there. Yeah, there's, there, it's a step. Yep. Oh, I almost thought I was gonna see the fly tank follow you over here. Where the hell did he go? Um. Oh, okay. You can settle or cycle. Ooh. Are you serious, tank? Is he drunk? <laughs> I'll get you next time, Nathan Drake. Nathan Drac. Nathan Dracula. He's gonna be in this boat soon. Tank, tank, tank. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, the game did it. It resolved Chekhov's tank. RPG? What's Tibetan for RPG? Air Page A? 
Oh, get out of here. Hey, man. Maybe this is his house. He bought a timeshare. Well, too bad. He needs to leave. <laughs> well, this his week... time is up. <laughs> um, there's, like, this nice little table out here. He was just, like, enjoying some herbal tea. Wow. That's some garbage. He shot me with a rocket launcher while being pelted with bullets. Okay, I think I've had enough for one episode. We'll... Oh my god. We'll try to get ourselves out of Tibet next time. I'm Comic. I'm dead, apparently. Y you are very dead. That guy took you down with him. He he's the guy. On his gravestone, it'll say, Killed Nathan Drake. Is he gonna be the guy? He's not the guy anymore. Uh.